How's it going today? <laughs> keep, going keep going. We're on our way to Clitheroe. Tape it. Mm. That's gonna sting. Is it? I think it's gonna sting, yeah. I don't know if you can see the bugs, but we are. <laughs> There's a zillion bugs. July 18th or 17th? July 17th, 2011. Our annual hiking trip. This is day one of uh, five days of hiking. We're on the Tom Quinn Valley at a campground called Clitheroe. Hi, Karen, say hi. You're hi. on camera. Yeah, I know. Do I want to be on camera? No, I don't want to be camera. Why not? Well, I haven't even looked at myself in a mirror. Okay. What is it called again? This is Lake yeah. Amethyst. Lake this Amethyst. is the Tom Quinn Valley. This is the ramparts. That must be There's an outfitter's cabin up ahead. So, how's the morning so far? I think I need to spray with bug stuff again. Karen's got her net around her neck. It has been terrible for the bugs out here. Hey. Videoing. Why? Why not? You're videoing right now? Yeah. Well, we're approaching Macrib Creek. This is where we buried Ozzy three years ago. And we're carrying Charlotte and the remains, some of the rest of Ozzy this time, and we're going to sprinkle their ashes here. So we're at Mac Rib Creek again. It's uh, July 18th, 2011. We were here a few years ago and we brought Ozzy's remains. And today we're bringing Charlotte's remains. Ozzy and Charlotte being laid to rest. They'll be happy here. Good job. at every person that comes by here. This is the creek. There's a campsite over there. All the outfitters and everybody have to come through this creek bed.
just left uh, Macrib Creek. This is Macrib. And over there, hard to see, right there in the center, there's a couple of caribou grazing. We're heading up that way. On record again. I thought it was on the regular one. What's that? It's on record. Where are we? Well, we're uh, we left Macrib Campground at about uh, one o'clock or so. It's three twenty, and we're following Macrib Creek, and we're going up the pass. So we're <laughs> going to go up Macrib Pass. So we're getting to the headwaters of the Macrib Creek. Here we are. At Macrib Pass. That's okay. It extends. We came up that way. Just down there in front of us right there is the creek. And the creek is done. So these are the headwaters. We'll go over this little hump here. And on the other side will be Portal Creek. So we'll... This is a pass. Hey. You're not walking with confidence, Mom. No. A little tired or what? Yeah. I need to fix my hair. Come over this top. Okay. Nice to hey. We put on about. Uh, almost 12, 13 clicks today, uphill most of the way. And now we're staring at a big downhill, but it's raining, so we'll, uh, we'll stay here for a while, out of the rain, before we head down that valley and tackle that. We're heading down there somewhere. At least there's not very many mosquitoes now. Another night in the tent. Another night in the tent. It was raining pretty good last night, wasn't it? It was a torrential downpour. <laughs> kept me awake for hours. Really? Yes. I kept sleeping. <laughs> I kept waking up, looking at my watch, over and over again. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Morning sunshine. Hey? Morning sunshine. How do you feel? Sorry. <laughs> up the uh, this is an old fire access road to uh, the Fryat Valley there's a hut at the top of the Fryat Valley that belongs to the Alpine Club of Canada anyways we're following the fire access road for the first 10k then we'll start a real climb up the Fryat Valley and uh, on our way to Mount Boulanger yeah uh, it is definitely a nicer day than we've had in the last couple of days there's no bugs here uh, it's a nice sunny day so uh, other than a couple of sore feet uh, everything's good Well, we've gone a couple hours now. We should be close to the river, or is it like 10 kilometers? No, I think we're very close. I, don't, I didn't mark this section of the trail yet. The first spot I got marked is that campground up ahead. Uh-huh. It's good to see where it's at. But... We've been walking for 8 hours, or 8 kilometers. Now, we're coming through the Athabasca River and just on the other side of the Athabasca River is the highway but we're going to turn away here
Now this is why I hike. Why are you going down there? Because it's fucking cool. Yeah, you be careful. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Yeah, this is what camp is. One narrative. This this is a campground called Lower uh, Lower Fried, and and nobody ever stays here. I should just go look at the place. Turn it off. Yeah. A lot of trees laying down. Here's. I didn't go all the way. There's like ten bikes. People are hanging their bikes in the bear cache thing and it's pretty ugly. Barren. You look good today. I think you see her locking up this thing. Maybe you're killing me. There's my husband. A while ago, he said, 50 more yards, honey. Hmm. I think it was farther. Anyways, I see the top. There it is. That'll be good to be right. It wasn't the top. He said 50 more yards. Yeah. And it's still uphill. Uh, I don't know how to lie to you. Can I tell you the truth? And tell you this is grueling? We're not there yet. <laughs> Yeah. Make sure you don't slip on that. This is as fresh as the water can get. Nice clean water. Look, been drinking it for four days straight. Don't need to add minerals to it, it's already full. That is Mount Boulanger over there. That one right there. And underneath it, that little portion is the Friant Wall, which we have to climb. How do you feel about that, baby? I'll wait here for you. <laughs> There's been a big rock slide here that changed everything, so we spent 20 minutes throwing rocks in the middle of the creek trying to build that little bridge for us to cross.
Is that awesome or what? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't fall in. Hey? I said I'm glad I didn't fall in. After a day of hiking, the storm's coming in, so I gotta take a crap real quick. It's not a good one for Facebook. I like to take pictures of some of the more scenic shitters I've encountered in my hikes, but this isn't one of them. No gorgeous view, no river, no mountain, no nothing. So I'll make this one quick. Hey. Why am I cooking? I'm not supposed to cook when I'm hiking. Yeah, well, I cooked the other two nights, so I just made the fire right now, so you can cook. There's our stove. Absolutely nothing says safety and comfort like having a fire. And our tent is over that way. So we'll be sleeping over there. Are you videoing this? Yep, yeah, tell me what it tastes like. Yeah. Pretty good. Yes, very good. This is how we save weight while hiking. We share spit, we share dishes. Christ, we could almost share a spoon. What night is this in the tent, honey? For me or for us? For us. Third night this 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 trip. Third night this trip? Hundred and second for me. Lifetime hiking. It's pretty good. Oh, the rain stopped. So we just got here. It's the beginning of our trip to fry it and it was raining so we set up the tent really quickly waiting for it to stop so we can go get wood and start a fire. Yep. Well, we're not. Have to take oh my god. Pictures. That Don't is, take you're pictures. not going to like that video at all, but right now we got a bit of gear inside the tent. And there's my stove going outside the tent. <laughs> Boiling water just outside the tent for our morning coffee. It's pouring rain outside. I'd say we're pretty much defeated today. We're not gonna go forward. It looks like there's snow up in the uh, higher elevation, so I think we're turning around and going home. Taking a hot chocolate to my honey. She's, uh, she's getting ready. She's taping up her feet, so I thought she could use a nice hot chocolate. I'm on record, accidentally. Okay. It's on record, accidentally. Ouch. 
Two seconds ago, you said five. <laughs> I, I think my lie is on, on the look on your face. If you look healthy, I lie a little more, and I say fifty, or I tell the truth. If you look healthy, it's fifteen minutes. When you look totally despaired, like you did back there, five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Just one more hill every time. Just You're so hill. full of poop. Last day at camp. This is the lower Fryat. This is where we're camping. A lot of rocks all over the place. And a nice campfire that Marty got going. Lots of wood to burn all night. There's fallen trees everywhere. As you can see, lots of trees, rocks, everything. I don't know, there must have been a bad windstorm or something and blew down all the trees. If you look over by where our tent is, there's a ton of trees that are knocked down. It's kind of weird. Either they all fell down the same day or over the years it's just not very good soil. There's our tent. As you can see, there's trees everywhere. Fallen. Over there as well. How bad are your feet, Mama? Bad enough. Yeah? Karen just took two Advils. Only two more kilometers to go. Come on, Karen. <laughs> 80 kilometers coming to an end. <laughs> Trying to get you both here.